me, sweet sisters, Facebook and YouTubers and subscribers. This is Sweet Sister Angelique, and I'm coming back at you again uh, for an update. Um, my surgery is next week. I got eight more days to go before my surgery. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Um, I'm nervous, but I don't feel fearful. I'm not scared. Um, because I just know that God is with me all the time. Um, this here video is going to be short and sweet, and then I'll just, you know, send out another video with an update to the weight loss um, surgery community. Um, but today I really just want to just, this video I want to target it pretty much about surgery, having to um, choose if you have to have a hysterectomy or your weight loss surgery. Excuse me. For me, one of my sleeve sisters asked, the question, have you had to have the choice of either having a hysterectomy or your weight loss surgery? And um, there was a few people that answered yes. Well, guess what? I'm one of the sleeve sisters that I had to answer yes. And I just typed on there real quick, quickly that I refused. I didn't get a chance to explain why because I was in the midst of doing something else. But this video is to respond to that question. And what happened was in 2007, I was diagnosed with adenomyosis, um, which is a medical condition that causes um, the female to bleed um, during menstruation. Um, also, it's severe pain and cramping, and pretty much you've got to have some medications. If you don't, you're just in, in pain. Now, I went from 2006 to 2007, I went in pain every single day. So I was taking Advil every single day. Um, and I thank God that he watched over me because I was struggling and didn't know what was going on. And the doctors kept saying they don't know and this and that, blah, blah, blah. So for a whole year, I went through that pain until finally I said, I'm not leaving the hospital until somebody tell me what's going on. And so um, eventually they told me I went under surgery because um, they said it was fibroids. And then when they got inside, there was no fibroids, so they had to just suture me back up. So to me, it was like a waste of a surgery. But then again, it helped even though um, they said that there was no fibroids. It helped. I'd rather have had the fibroids than have adenomyosis any time. But... Unfortunately, they diagnosed me with adenomyosis. Um, I didn't have any pain for over two years, two and a half years. And then finally I decided to want to try to have uh, children, and then the pain just came back because I started messing with my hormones. Um, meanwhile, um, when I decided to make the decision in 2012 that I wanted to do the weight loss surgery, um, I was going through a lot, still bleeding, but I was bleeding on time, um, and but it was painful. So um, around 2013, the pain started getting real bad again, um, and I was calling in sick at work. You know, whenever my period, the first two days, I was just calling in sick. So the bottom line is, is that. December of 2013, they told me that I had um, fibroid tumors, one on each side of the uterus. And I just cried because I know that I still want to try to have a child. Um, so what I did was I turned around and um, just said, hey, you know what? I'm going to try this again. I'm not going to have surgery. Um, I am not going to um, put myself on hold. Um, I am just going to try holistic healing. So I did try holistic healing um, for a few minutes and this is what I wind up getting. I started doing research online and um, I was talking with one of the women. I did some research and there was a woman that was online she had a very successful story. It was very unique, and it actually made me cry. Um, but um, she said she was taking um, red clover. Um, but I found out that after I had purchased everything and, and actually started using it, 
that she was actually taking the pills. I actually went and I got the tea, um, the leaves itself, and I started um, putting it in a bag and making a ginger out of it, um, actually making a tea. And then um, I um, went to, um, like I said, I went to um, a nurse practitioner, um, and they did some, and made me a tinger with some different herbs in it, and I would mix it with both, um, and that was supposed to help for the fibroids and for the pain. It worked. Um, the thing is, is that um, at the same time, I was like, okay, the doctor, you got to do something, and the doctor was like, oh, well, there's really not much we can do, Angelique. You're pretty much, you give me no other choice. You got to have a hysterectomy. I was like, no, I don't. And I'm not going to have a hysterectomy right now. And my family was fighting me on it. They was like, they were saying, you know, the deterioration of your health. You know, they were worried about that. And I was like, don't worry about it. It's going to be all right. I trust and believe in God. So um, I said, well, give me a shot. I know there's something that we can go ahead and at least um, slow the, um, you know, um, maybe take the swelling away from the fibroids, maybe they can shrink or something. So they gave me a Lupron shot. And for the whole month of December, I went through a flood of bleeding, um, pain, everything. Um, I had good support from my fiance. He was here. He was massaging, trying to keep that pain away. Um, I was off work for a few minutes, so that kind of helped relieve some of the pain by the time I got back to work. My bleeding had been slowed down a little bit. Um, the pain was still there, but I was on medication every six hours. So I was either taking a Vicodin or I was taking um, Motrin. And I decided that, you know, my doctor said, you know, can you at least just try to take only one Motrin a night instead of taking, I mean, not Motrin, but uh, Vicodin and once a night. And I said, okay, I'll try it. So um, I went from taking... Um, biking in throughout the day, making me sleepy and tired, to just taking Motrin and really taking the biking in only when I, so I can sleep at night because I couldn't sleep. I'd be in so much pain. I, I couldn't sleep. I would literally cry and get up and walk around and start praying and asking God to please just help me. I know he's not doing this to his child for a reason. I can't be doing this here. I can't be going through this pain and stuff. And I was really going through a lot of pain. And the doctors were saying, you needed to have a hysterectomy before you have the weight loss surgery. And I told them, no. And so, um, this is the final um, um, thing, the final issue. I said, okay. I was in so much pain one day, and I just said, you know what? I'm just going to have the surgery. Just forget it. I'm just going to go ahead and have the hysterectomy. But every time I made that decision, it was only because I was in pain. It wasn't like a, I was really thinking and saying, okay, Lord, just stick with me. Just stay by my side. Just stay by my side. I can do this. I can do this. And I just, like I said, would go into my prayer closet and continuously pray. And, um, and so finally I noticed that I wasn't taking as much pain medication. Um, I just was just having a... Um, having one of those days and I, when I say I am truly blessed, I am truly blessed because in January I stopped taking pills um, for pain. I'm not taking any more pain then. Um, I'm just taking the birth control pills that is required of me to keep me from bleeding and I'm doing just fine I, you know and it's because of God and, and my prayers of all my sisters just praying for me and all my family members just really being there for support. But I wanted to say that what made me make the decision not to have the surgery was because when I talk with my um, team of doctors in the OBGYN to say, okay, I'm just going to go ahead and have the surgery. Well, when the actual surgeon called, she said, well, Angelique, I'm not going to be able to touch you anyway or do anything to you until March and I had already been scheduled for my surgery for February but I had canceled they had been canceled my surgery my weight loss surgery and I said what so immediately when she told me that I immediately got online started sending an email out to my doctor and told my doctor hey 
put me back on the calendar. This woman's not going to even be able to touch me until March. I'm not bleeding right now. I want to still hold on to God's unchanging hand. I want to just trust and believe in him that he's going to walk me through all of this here because I really truly want a child before I get a hysterectomy. So I said, I do not want the hysterectomy first. I'm going to have my weight loss surgery. Because they said if I lose the weight, that can also help me. So I'm going to walk forward in the Lord, and I'm going to continue to walk by faith and not by sight. So this is what I'm trying to tell all of my sisters out there who are struggling with other issues. If you just feel like the doctors is always right, no, they're not. You have to trust and believe in God all the way. Walk by faith and not by sight. He said his word will not come back void. And I trust and believe in that. I look towards the hills for all my health. I'm leaning totally on him all the way through this journey. So I'm telling you, sisters, that I refuse to have a hysterectomy because I want a child. But I refuse to have that hysterectomy because I'm going to continue to just trust in God all the way. So, my sleeve sisters, I love you so much. I thank you for watching this video. I try my best to make my videos real short because I don't want nobody to get bored. But if you watch this all the way to the end, I truly appreciate it and I thank you all for that. If you have any questions or um, you want to just chat or talk personally about this here and there's any women that are out there that are searching for a private and seclusive support group, please come by Facebook. We're on Facebook. We have a community page. All you have to do is like the community page. One of the administrators will come on, uh, greet you, and then turn around and give you um, introduction into the group. It is a wonderful and awesome group. I truly enjoy it, and I thank all my sisters that are there right now. You guys are all wonderful. I have much love and respect for each and every one of you. My admins is totally awesome. We have an Ubu chat that's on Monday nights hosted by one of our sleeve sisters, Sonia, and we have the also um, Ubu chat that's on a Thursday night, hosted by me, myself, sleeve sister Angelique. I'm more than happy to answer any questions that you guys have. Um, Pre-op, we have wonderful post-op sisters there. They are very awesome, and they will help you. They will answer questions, and their, their answers are based on their own personal experiences. Again, we're not doctors, but we can tell you what we personally experienced ourselves. So, again, thank you for following my journey, and I'll see you next time. Love you guys. Bye.